Today's newspaper headings scream death, destruction, and crisis. Americans hang their heads and prepare themselves for tough times. The Iraqi war, the economic crisis, the Al-Qaeda situation, the list goes on. The future seems bleak. What are we accomplishing? According to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, we should be working towards four things. Freedom of speech and expression, freedom to worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear all over the world. In 1941, Franklin Delano Roosevelt gave what is now known as the Four Freedom Speech. It was intended to inspire U.S. citizens to work towards a better tomorrow and to convince them that World War II was the first step in that direction. Even today, we should refer to these points as a guide for the actions we take and the decisions we make. Norman Rockwell depicted Roosevelt's ideas through four paintings published in 1943 and again as propaganda promoting World War II later on. The first is of two parents wishing their children good night. By his firm grasp on the newspaper and the worry lines that crease his face, anyone can tell that this father is not free from fear for himself and his family. The next shows many multicultural people joined in reverent prayer. Who they are praying to or what they believe is cast aside. All that matters is the comfort that they will take away thanks to the idea that someone is watching over them. The third takes place in a classroom setting. A man valiantly speaks his mind while his engrossed peers listen intently to his opinion. They have freedom of speech and expression and are therefore allowed to say whatever they wish. The fourth and final painting shows many smiling people, a family no doubt, waiting patiently as a woman brings a succulent turkey to the table at which they are seated. They are free from want. Take a good look around you. Chances are you are not afraid to speak your mind or practice your religion. Most likely, you will eat dinner tonight. The same cannot be said for many fellow citizens of the world. People of Darfur have seen their family and friends slaughtered. They awake from horrific nightmares, wondering if they will be next. Those in the Middle East do not dare speak out against their government for fear of execution. Many people do not know when their next meal will be. This is not the bright future envisioned by President Roosevelt on the brink of World War II. Right now, the United States is involved in Operation Iraqi Freedom, a war we entered under the intent of liberating the people of Iraq from the tyranny of Saddam Hussein and stabilizing a new government and economy there. Although the first goal has been reached, American troops remain in Iraq, hoping to realize the second. Many are opposed to this military involvement in Iraq due to its heavy cost in both finance and lives of soldiers. However, Americans must remember that we are fighting not only for the freedom of Iraq, but of the world. Although gas prices have been roller coastering and the stock market is down, we as Americans must remember to count our blessings and to assist in creating a better tomorrow, not only for ourselves, but for all people of this world. One day, everyone should be allowed to speak their mind, practice their own religions, have enough to eat, and never fear what the next day might bring.